we're doing guys Mikia. Um, this week's video is a absolutely fantastic beer mail I've received this week from Kev Mitchell big thanks my old mucker um, couldn't have asked for anything you know better he's got absolutely bonkers with the beers I mean I gave him a fair few of my own um, let's just have a quick look on the camera look Oh, and beauties there, look. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen beers. I mean, he's been a busy man. A big, big, big thank you. Um, much appreciated. We uh, met up whilst I was on my holidays at Butlins in Skegness. We didn't actually meet in Butlins, but that's where my holidays were. Um, Kev's too old for that place. It's for kids, toddlers. <laughs> Joking. Um, yeah, so anyway, we met up at a pub just around the corner from where we were both staying. Um, bumped into each other, did a beer swap. Um, I gave Kev a Burko mash tun and a few beers and a few bits of bobs. I swapped some grains. Oh, by the way, Kev, I've used your grains already, mate. Thank you very much. Give me a kilo crystal. Um, yeah, so we just met up, we had some dinner, a couple of beers, um, obviously swapped the beers, had a chat about little bits and bobs, unfortunately it wasn't as long as I was hoping, I wasn't have quite as many beers as I was hoping to have with Kev, as the missus was with me with a young lad, and obviously it was getting to that time of day where it was coming to its bedtime, and I mean, you can imagine I'm getting evils back in my head off the missus saying we've got to go home, and I'm thinking no, I want to go on the piss mate, but it didn't work like that. So, but there will be other times, definitely, definitely. So, uh, yeah, so big thank you to Kev. Um, I shall continue the video and I shall tell you what each one of these beers are. So, bear with me. Oh. Smile, Kev. Yeah. Thank you. Mash tongue, mate. Mash tongue. There you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Just in case you're wondering, just meeting up with Kev. Okay, Kev Mitchell. Kev M on YouTube. Hey. Oh, I'm missing the bees in the hooter. Don't be a minute, mate. We'll make you famous. Hello, doggies. Right, as you can probably see by the video that I just put up, the quick video there, of meeting Kev, there wasn't a lot there, was there? Unfortunately, my big fat finger, which one I don't know which it is, four more finger, pressed the uh, stop button on the record. So as I'm talking to the video, and Kev was as well, I was just swapping the beers over, who I was talking to was a sales really in a bloody mobile phone. So. Unfortunately, there was that was all the video I managed to get. Um, so you can actually see the actual beer swap, but, but never mind. The main thing is the beers here. So what have we got? Out of the way, so I need a lot of room here. First beer, we have a St Peter's Ruby Red Ale, three percent AB, three point seven percent ABV. That's number one. Number two, we have Festival Father's Hook Bitter, 4% ABV, bottled on the 14th for the 1st, 2015. Number two. Beer number three, we have a Young's American IPA, 6.6% ABV, bottled on the 17th for the 11th of 2014. Bear with me, folks, this might take a while. Then we have... Festival Old Suffolk Ale, 5.6% ABV, bottled on 21st of the 1st, 15. Then we have Cascarillo Ale, 4.2% ABV, bottled on 19th of the 4th, 2015. Some lovely looking beer that, look at that. 
that's clearing well in the fridge. And then we have St Peter's Cream Stout. I'm looking forward to this one very much. 4% ABV, bottled on the 26th of the 1st, 2015. I'll tell you what, Kev, you consistent. Then we have Cooper's Irish Stout of Coca Nibs, bottled on the 4th of the 12th, 2014, at 5.25 ABV. And we have a very nice looking Young's American Amber Ale, 5.6% ABV, bottled on the 29th of the 12th, 2014. Should we have a break? Hang on. Ah. That's not a homebrew, by the way. That is a Sharp's Wolf Rock. I was going to do a review on it, but I never got around to it, so I just drank it. Right then, now we have a Cooper's Unreal Ale, 5.6% ABV, bottled on 26th of the 3rd, 2015. Looking quite nice, that one. The camera doesn't quite do the justice. Then we have Kev's GS Clone. Oh, GS Clone, did tell what it is. Golden Stag, Golden Stag Clone, that's what it is. 4.8% ABV. Bottle of 24 for the 12th, 2014. Bloody hell, Kev, that's almost Christmas Day, mate. Oh, excuse me. And we have Festival Golden Stag Summer Ale, 4% ABV. Bottled on the 9th, 11th, 2014. Also have Festival Pride of London Porter. Yum, 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 yum. 5.2% ABV, bottle of 7 for the 1st, 2015. And now we've got, what have we got here, a WLP775 Cider, 5.1% ABV, bottle of 16 for the 12th, 2014. Now I haven't tried the 775 Cider yet, it's very looking very clear though. So that'll be interesting as everybody raves about that one. Then we've got the Geordie Winter Warmer, which is one of my favourite kits. So this will be interesting because I do like this one, which is 5.1% ABV. Bottle on the third of the third, 15. And now, last of all, we have Wilco Sweet Nuki Brown, 4.4% ABV. Bottle on the 22nd, 11th, 2014. That's another kit that I like as well. So, can't say enough thank yous to you there, Kev. They are absolutely brilliant looking beers can't wait to try them some of them obviously are not ready but he's going to send me um, information as to when they should be because he's obviously got some himself as he tries them he's going to let me know which is great excellent uh, can't wait um, so yeah um, fantastic fantastic so there we go guys there's all the bottles very much thanking you Kev again um, so what else have we been up to? I also received another beer mail from a friend, a fellow road worker, Mr. Andrew Leek. Um, he basically lives up um, Warsaw Stroke Birmingham Way. I can't remember, Willing Hall I think it is. I can't remember the exact location. He's a traffic management operative. I chat to him quite regularly through various websites, forums and messenger and he sent me some beer mail as well and that is a future video uh, there's, I think there's 10 bottles plus a bottle of uh, wine for the wifey so excellent stuff this week as far as the beer mail goes um, well what about beer mail I've got some hops coming which are sat in the post office or in office right now which I shall pick up tomorrow um, I've also got a, a electric urn coming. It's a 27 litre one um, to aid me in my brewing expertise that I've not quite figured out the expertise bit yet, but we're getting there somewhere. Um, yeah, so you know, it's been a bit of a productive week. And some spondoolies whilst I was at work, so I had some spondoolies to spend, as you do. 
Um, what else have I been up to? Bottled a Cooper's. <laughs> destroy the place because you're about to empty in it. No, actually it's not. <clears throat> I'll edit that bit out. That was a turbo side, I guess it was nothing special. Where was I? Oh yeah, I've got a Cooper's Lager I, uh, bottle. It's been in the bottle for a couple of weeks. I've just shaked it and I, oh, I'm not opening that one then. Just a standard kit, Euro Lager. I did a kit and kilo. I can't remember. I did the video. Oops. Video of this one. It's nice, and, nice and firm. Shall we give it a go? I chucked some hops in it. Oh, I think there was East Kent Goldie. I can't actually remember. I just thought I'd do a kit. Um, well, some talk pouring this. What else? Yes. Yeah, so I'm um, now I've got the um, the urn. I'm going to see how I can get on with that and possibly do away with my gas. There's a nice bit of carbonation in there. Not a massive amount, but. Tastes alright. It's a bit of a. Yeah, it's just a cheap Cooper's kit. Um, I shot some Kent, East Kent Goldens, whatever it was in there. <coughs> Obviously it's not as good as an old grain, but that's just the way it goes. So yes, so I've got that coming this week, hopefully, along with the hops, because I'm entering a competition. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I know the full details of it. I think Mark knows about it. Um, and that's about it, I think. I can't remember who else was in the chat, actually. Yeah, I think it was just me, Mark and Kev, I think. I think, I think, I think. I'm talking gibberish now. So I'm going to enter that, and also this week, obviously I've been on holiday in Skegness, absolutely beautiful weather all week, couldn't believe how uh, lucky we were, we was on the beach every day, I even got a bit of a tan, I don't know if you can tell, and the young ones, um, he enjoyed himself, it's his first proper holiday last year, he was just, you know, sat there in the pram half the time, going, a bit like me, after I've had a few beers. So uh, yeah, and then we come home. Obviously, to all this beer mail, I got postage and stuff. Um, planted some strawberries for the young lad, and we planted my hops in the garden. They're in pots. I just put them in a propagator for now, just to keep the frost off them. Um, that's about it, really. So, like I say, big thank you to uh, Kev. Um, for the beers, nice to meet you and all. I've probably said it about five times now, and I shall catch you all later. There might be a bit more put onto this video just yet, but I think it's dragging on a bit. All right, bye bye, have fun.